Well, hello and good morning. This week we have witnessed the arrival of our second grandchild, first grandson, Eli Jason Tan. Congratulations to Ashley and Rebecca and praise God for his safe arrival into the world. We're so looking forward to getting together and being with them, but the whole family can't be there. The rule of six limits us to how we're able to get together as families and as friends. And we are by nature social creatures. We can only have now 15 people to celebrate at weddings. 15% of the guests have to be taken off the list. What a hardship this is. There's a looming threat that Christmas will, will be severely restricted. Possibly students won't be able to come home. This is terrible news for us who love to be together. And in the Psalms 42 verse 4, the psalmist experiencing something like this writes, These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I used to go with the multitude leading the procession in the house of God, with shouts of joy and thanksgiving. Don't you long at times to hear and even to give shouts of joy and thanksgiving among the festive throng. Every one of us really has an important part to play to make an event like that happen we need one another we miss one another we long for the days when we can dispense with masks and mutes and we can sing shout celebrate enjoy one another's company because our faith has to be maintained not just by the private devotions by but by public gatherings don't neglect the assembling together is the cry of the hebrews and yet we're restricted how are we going to overcome this? How are we going to overcome all the discouragements, the despondency that can come that makes us have to fight with ourselves? Why are you cast down, O oh my soul? Why disturbed within? Well, we know why we're disturbed, but he knows why he's disturbed as well. But he's just fighting against, he's appealing to this other hope that we have in God as an inoculation against depression and despair he's also experiencing confusion and in psalm 43 verse 3 send forth your light and truth let them guide me our perspective becomes distorted and our emotions when they run wild and begin to speak to us and speak for us can govern our life in unhealthy ways liz and i were watching the program the repair shop and a man now in his 50s or 60s, a dentist, was telling how he was brought up in Zanzibar and his family had to flee and leave their possessions behind. They left everything. But when he went back after many decades and visited a family friend, he saw a clock on the wall and said, oh, my father used to have a clock like that. They said, that was your father's clock. It was given to our father for safekeeping and he was able to bring it back but it didn't work properly the timing had gone the chiming had gone it chimed when it shouldn't and uh, didn't when it should and so he took it onto this program and gave it to an expert and they dismantled it stripped it down cleaned it up filed all the bits that were worn uh, cleaned up the case put a new set of varnish everything was then being reassembled when the clockmaker said something like oh i've missed a cog 45 years of doing this and I've missed a cog and he had to take a little bit apart and put the thing back together and then it worked beautifully it was an emotional moment when he saw his father's clock reassembled and reworking and I want to remind you that you as a member of the church matter every cog matters Paul tells us in Ephesians that the church builds itself up in love when every member plays its part the private devotions and the public gatherings both are necessary for the healthy maintenance of our faith and therefore i want to encourage you overcome your feelings make sure that you're participating as far as you are able in some sort of engagement whether it's small group whether it's sundays online or attending either at the forestdale or thornton heath site make sure that you're gathering to god and to one another why are you cast down O my soul why are you disquieted within me 
hope in God. We're all in the repair shop, but God is putting us back together and we will be able to praise him together with shouts of joy. We're looking forward to that time. God bless you.